So the regular octagon goes into the parallelogram, then x equals 3. This makes sense now. Hey, you got the stuff? What kind of stuff are you looking for? The stuff that will take down a beard. If I take out his beard, I take out him. Beard, you say? I've seen this problem before. Do you know how to handle it? I know exactly what you need to take out a beard. What? It's perfect. Is that a female screaming? Does she need help? Can't see her. I must help. Perfect. That was Oh, man. It's just a guy. Are you okay? Dude! Dude! My beard! Man! He got me wearing the beard, man! Well, I'm first aid certified. Do you want some help? Man! Sit up, sit up. I don't know, man. I'm just, just pulling out. It's okay. I'm first aid certified. Right? You just need to calm down. Slow your breathing. Are you calm? Calm. Okay. I'm gonna pull it out of your beard slowly. Okay? Slowly. Slowly. Ah, man. Slowly. It's okay. Oh my it's gosh. Out. It's out. Is he okay? He's fine. I'm just gonna help him up. Some help. Where's your hand? Man. Do my hand. It's okay, it's okay, it's just enough. It's just enough. Sean, can you go find his hand for yeah, me? Yeah, I will, I will. Okay. Have you seen a hand, dude? Okay. Mr. Schultz, yeah. have you seen a hand laying around? A hand? Yeah. No, I have not seen a hand. Oh, man. Except for... oh, there's no hand. Have you guys seen, have you guys seen a hand? No, I'm sorry. Have you seen a hand, dude? It's just laying around. Yeah. No. Have you seen a hand? A hand? Yeah, just a hand laying around. Unattached to somebody? Yes. You know? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Thank you. Uh-huh. Troy, have you seen a hand? Oh. Yes. You know, I come over this way. I, sh I, I need a hand. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Have you seen a hand? Just laying around. I need it. Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Where's yes. the hand? It's over on top of you. Okay. Thanks. Wrap it around like this. And this is called pre-wrap, Sean. Pre-wrap, got it. This tape, because I carry it around on me at all times because mm -hmm. I'm first aid certified. That's pretty cool. I know. Okay, I think you've had enough of the pre-wrap. You really wrap me up good. Yep. Now what's this? This is the tape. It'll keep everything in place and keep his hand on. Good. Thank goodness. Yes. Now what you do is you wrap it around here like this, you see? And it'll keep everything sturdy, set up. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just going to do some individual strips after I rip this off, you see? So it'll make sure it's there. Okay, now I'm 
just going to do a figure eight real quick to make it look all nice and pretty so he can go on a date later. Good. You sure are good at this. Thank you. There you go. Now you can go show that off to all your friends. Tell them you lost your hand and you got it back on. Can I tell them it was a shark bite? Yeah, you can tell them you got bit by a bear. But yes. first of all, Sean, can you call 911? I just want to make sure yeah. that he's okay. Sure. Are you calm? I guess so. Okay. It does Wait, look nice. Un unlock the button. Oh, okay, I unlocked it. Okay. okay. Your beard looks good too. Thanks. All right. Hey, 911. Okay. okay, so we had a guy and his hand came off. But we, we've managed to put it back on him, but we need an ambulance just to make sure we have professional care to attend him. Okay, thanks. We're in the, the front of the North Bend High School. All right, thanks. Okay, they should be coming soon. Okay, you're going to be okay. Let's go get you out of the building soon. Thank you, man. All right. Say Kelly didn't lose his hand. Say he lost his thumb. And say we found it. Here. This is what we would do. We would tape it back on. So there would be further support, so no further damage would happen. Now here, I will take the handy pre-wrap. Wrap it across the tip of the thumb. And we're gonna be using his wrist. So why not get everything from the thumb to the wrist? In fact, six inches past the wrist. We don't want to put tape on the hair of the arm, because that would be uncomfortable. Ow. Ow. And let's put it here too, because there might be some tape involved here too. This pre-wrap can get really trippy. It's really flimsy and easy to break. Try the best you can. What's up, dog? Alright. First, I'm going to apply what's called the anchor strip. Anchor strip, take a little piece of tape, just enough to wrap around the tip of the finger. In this case, our thumb. I shall take a second anchor strip, slightly longer, so it can fit the circumference of the wrist. Now, I'm going to do what's called basket weaving. Looks like we're going to need some more free wrap. Tape's going to be all across the palm of his hand. Even though there's no hair on the palm, it can still stick and cause discomfort to the victim. Okay, that should be good. Okay, basket weaving involves this. I'm going to take a longer strip of tape, place it about here, I'm going to do that a couple more times for stability. Adding more layers makes this brace more rigid so his thumb won't be going anywhere. What's up, Doug? One more should do it. Okay, now we're going to do some figure eights. This will ensure maximum support. Start about here, wrap it around this way. Try to do it again, different angles each time. Do this a few times and the thumb should stay in place. Now we're gonna dress it up and make it look pretty. Start from here and just wrap your way up. This is the casing. Wrap it around his thumb. And that's the thumb race.